Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime with Fairfield County Library. My name is Miss Nina and I am so excited for Storytime today. Before we get started, I want to remind you that we are doing hybrid story times, which means on top of our story times online here, we are also doing in-person story times at the library. The in-person version of these story times for the toddler preschool age group are at 10.30 a.m. on Monday. Okay, now that that's out of the way, are you guys ready for story time? This week, our theme is getting ready for school. That means this week, we are going to read books to get you excited for your first day of classes. Okay, our first book is The Circles All Around Us by Brad Montag, illustrated by Brad and Christy Montag, and published by Dial Books for Young Readers. We begin by drawing a circle on the ground along each shoe. A safe little place for just one person. Nobody in the circle but you. You could keep that circle closed to everyone but yourself, but that would be like a library with just one book on the shelf. draw a bigger circle for you and your family to share. Now you see what all can happen in a circle full of care. It becomes a happier circle as more loved ones come to stay. And wouldn't it be even better if all your friends could come and play? Stretch and draw your circle even bigger than it's been and let a few more people know they're welcome to come in. In the circles all around us, everywhere that we all go, there's a difference we can make and a love we can all show. Yet, there are still so many outside the circle who are different in all they do, though it feels slightly uncomfortable. We draw a bigger circle for them too. It doesn't mean the circle is easy. It can get harder the more we share. And then you see these people, I only like singing. I only like sports. I only wear dresses. 
I like old comfy shorts. I'm Team Cake. I'm Team Pie. I'm really outgoing. I'm quiet and shy. But wonderful things can happen when love is known and felt everywhere. As time passes, our eyes open, we see others we really care for. And that's when we ask ourselves, well, what's this circle really there for? So let us create bigger circles all around us for the rest of our days. Let our caring ripple out in a million little ways. In the circles all around us, everywhere that we all go, there's a difference we can make in a love we can all show. As our circles grow and grow, and we watch them wonder-eyed. Remember the first circle started with just the love you hold inside. That was the circles all around us. Who are in your circles? Do you have different circles for mom and dad versus grandma and grandpa? Okay, our next book is The Magical Yet by Angela Dieter Lacey. Art by Lorena Alvarez and published by Disney Hyperion. There are days when your dreams haven't come true or you are upset by the things you can't do. If you've lost or failed or cried just a bit, you're tired of waiting, ready to quit. Like that shiny new bike you couldn't ride and it didn't matter how hard you tried. You couldn't pedal and you couldn't steer and you couldn't get that bike into gear. So then when you thought you were on the right track, you popped a wheelie and fell on your back. And now you won't ride, no way, not never. No riding for you, you'll walk forever. Don't give up now, there's a major game changer, an most amazing thought rearranger, someone to show you how good you can get. Now introducing... The Magical Yet. With this yet's magic, you can begin to see that you're going beyond where you've been. There are so many things that you've learned to do when you didn't know the yet was with you. Like when you babbled before you could talk, or how you crawled before you could walk. Yes, a dreamer, a schemer, a hoper, a trier, a maker, a doer, a gotta fly higher. 
This yet finds a way even when you don't, and yet knows you will when you think you won't. Like that shiny new bike that you couldn't ride, hop back on with the Yet by your side. Yet doesn't mind warm-ups, fixes, and flops, do-overs, redos, stumbles, and stops. Yet knows there's mistakes some big and some small. With Yet, you're sure to get over them all. Play the kazoo or play the bassoon. Jam with the Yet and you'll soon be in tune. Try skateboarding tricks like the ollie heel flip. This yet can get to the championship. Tongue twisters twisted, your tongue in a nook. Yet says, keep trying and practice a lot. Be patient. Yet can't do it all overnight. Some things take days, months, or years to get right. But if you keep leaping, dreaming, wishing, waiting, learning, trying, missing. With the yet as your guide along the way, you'll do all the things you can't do today. Now you're bolder, braver, starting to see, with yet you can get wherever you want to be. You finally did it! Not just writing, you're getting quite good. But don't stop now, you've got so much to do. The good news is, this yet grows with you. No matter how big or old you may get, you'll never outgrow, you'll never forget. You can always believe in the magic of yet. Great, that was the magical yet. What is something that you're working on that you need a practice to get right? All right, everyone, thank you for coming to story time. Now, just because we're done reading does not mean we have to be done with story time. At the library, you can get something called a story time kit, which is a fun filled activity kit that goes with the books you read today. Each kit comes with a coloring sheet, a craft, and a tasty recipe that you can make with your grown-ups. This week, our craft is this paper plate school bus. To get a kit, you need to come to the Fairfield County Library and look for some crates in the children's section. And we have two crates, one for Monday story times and one for Wednesdays. So you want to make sure you grab the right kits or you could end up with something completely different than what I showed you. The kits for this story time are in the group A crate. They're the red ones. We have new kits every week, so make sure to check back in every time we do a new story time. Okay, everyone, thank you for joining me for story time. It's time to say goodbye, but I look forward to seeing you all next time. And I hope to see you in the library this week to pick up a story time. Bye!